Welcome to this lesson on converting to center radius form. In this lesson, you'll learn how to go from standard form, sometimes it's called long form, back to center radius form, which we have been using to find the center of the radius and to graph. Okay, so here's an example of standard form. The first thing that you want to do is group your x's and your y's. So I'm going to start with my x's, so x squared plus 8x, and then my y's, y squared minus 2y, and then bring down my constant, my equals, and my zero. And then next I'm going to move the constant to the other side of the equal sign. So I can do that by adding 64 to both sides. So x squared plus 8x plus y squared minus 2y equals positive 64. Next, I'm going to be adding blanks. So I'm going to write x squared plus 8x plus blank plus y squared minus 2y plus blank. And the reason I'm adding blanks is because we're going to do something called completing the square, which you probably learned in Algebra 1. And then because I added two blanks to the left side of my equal sign, I need to keep my equation equal on both sides, so I'm going to add two blanks to the right. All right, so next I'm going to complete the square. So if you remember from Algebra 1, when you have a trinomial, ax squared plus bx plus c, you can complete the square and find the c value, which is what we're missing here, by taking half of b and squaring it. So I'm going to take half of 8 and square it. So that would be 4 squared, which is 16. And I'm going to put that here, and I'm going to put it here. Okay, then I'm going to do the same thing with my y trinomial. So it's like we have two trinomials here. We have my x trinomial, and then we have my y trinomial. Remember, a trinomial just means three terms. Okay, so let me get rid of all this so it's not super confusing. Okay, so I'm going to take my b term, negative 2. I'm going to half it and square it, which is negative 1 squared, which is 1. And notice I put plus blank every time because when you're squaring, it's always going to be positive. So you'll never have a negative number in those blanks. Okay. Clean this up a little bit. All right, now that we have done that, we have completed the square, now we are going to factor and add. So when I say factor, I mean we are going to factor each trinomial. So I'm going to factor the x trinomial, and I'm going to factor the y trinomial, and then I'm going to add over here. So let's go ahead and add because that's the easiest part. So 64 plus 16 plus 1, that's 81. Now, because these are perfect square trinomials, and we made them that way by completing the square, the two factors should be the same. The two factors should be the same. So we're looking for two numbers that multiply to give me 16, but add to give me 8. All right, and you should have thought of 4. So x plus 4 times x plus 4, if I foiled that out, if I multiplied that out, I would get this trinomial. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing with my y trinomial. I know it's got to be y and y. Alright, so I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to give me positive 1, but add to give me negative 2. Alright, and you should have thought of negative 1. Now, I can rewrite these two binomials as a binomial squared because it's the same. Same thing here. I can write the y as a binomial squared and then bring down my 81. So that now is in center radius form. Okay, so let's try another example, but let's try to do it in not so many steps because I know all those steps seem daunting, but I wanted to explain how it works 
But now let's try to do it a little bit quicker. So I'm going to combine one and two and three in the same step. And it's not gonna be that bad. I'm gonna write my X's and then go ahead and add a blank. Then I'm gonna write my Y's. And by Y's, I mean the terms that have the variable Y and add a blank. And I'm gonna go ahead and move my constant, which is positive 137 to the other side, which is gonna make it negative 137 and add my blanks. So all in one step. X is together, Y is together, add your blanks, move the constant. Not too bad. Okay, now I need to complete the square, so I need to take the B term, half it, divide it by 2, and square it. Alright, so that would be 12 squared, which is 144. Same thing with my y. That would be 3 squared, which is 9. All right, now we need to factor. Okay, so an easy, quick tip for factoring these. So you can write out every time your two binomials. We know it has to be the same number because it's a perfect square trinomial. We made it that way when we completed the square. So we're looking for a number that multiplies by itself to give us 144, but adds together to give us 24. And you should have thought of 12. So here is the quick tip. The number here will always be half of your B. So the number here and here will always be half of your B. Okay, so let's try it over here. So Y and Y half of 6 is positive 3. You do need to look at the sign, so if it was negative 6, it would be negative 3. So let's make sure that works. So 3 times 3 is 9. 3 plus 3 is 6. That works. Let's go ahead and add on the right-hand side. So negative 137 plus 144 plus 9. That gives me 16. So my final answer would be x plus 12 squared plus y plus 3 squared equals 16. All right, last example. All right, so x's. Now this one is a little bit different because I don't have a y to the first power term. So I don't need any blanks for my, my y. I'm just gonna bring y down. Then I'm gonna add 99 to both sides to move it to the other side. And since I just have one blank on the left, I just need one blank on the right. All right, so let's complete the square. Half of two is two, two squared is one. Okay, and remember, when we're factoring, we're looking for two numbers that multiply to give me one, but add to give me two. We know it has to be the same number. And remember, you can just take half of your B term, which is one. Let's bring everything else down. Go ahead and add 99 plus 1, that's 100. So my final answer would be x plus 1 squared plus y squared equals 100. All right, you can go ahead and stop the video now and complete the practice and check it with your teacher.